the alpacas actually come from uh, South America, um, Peru, Chile, and Bolivia. And back in the early 80s, the U.S. imported, um, I'm probably going to say, a thousand animals, a thousand alpacas, um, so that the U.S. could start up their own breeding program. We own uh, the alpacas, me and my husband. We started this business about well, almost 10 years ago now and we raise them for their fiber or hair. So we shear them once a year, usually in April or March. There's a lot of science behind the alpacas and breeding them to get the finest or softest fiber off of them so that the softer it is, the more usable it is in clothing or garments. But we also promote awareness of the alpaca animal and how they're used in the U.S. And we schedule farm tours here at the farm and taking them out into their, you know, into the pasture with the animals uh, so they can see them in their natural environment. We also have an online store on the website and it has a variety of alpaca products that is made out of their fiber or hair. And so the products can be hats, gloves, scarves, slippers. It's just amazing what can be done with their a fiber. They have a friend in Tennessee, they own a fiber mill. And so they process alpaca fiber and, um, and, and other fibers as well, sheep and goat and all that. But they uh, were asked this year to provide scarves, percent alpaca scarves, in the gift bags for the presenters at the Country Music Awards show. So that was a very good thing for the alpaca industry. So it just is, you know, again, spreading the word about, you know, the alpaca and how their fiber is used.